Okay, so here's a quick video of the Colorbug antenna and how we put it together for those of you who might need a little extra help. I'm referring to page uh, six, I believe, of the PDF pattern here. It's actually figure 17 where we're starting with. And the pieces that you need are two five and a half by six and a half inch background rectangles, your antenna pieces, which are two one and a half by five inch pieces or scraps, and then one four by four inch square of your background fabric. And the first thing we're going to do is lay out, as you can see, I've drawn lines with my Frixion pen or water soluble pen mimicking figure 17 right here. So I've drawn lines on my background rectangles, the larger five and a half by six and a half inch rectangles. And I've drawn these lines going from center, if you will, outward to the left and to the right. And so these are just lines that are going to help me make sure that I uh, actually cut these rectangles apart the correct way. So I'm going to cut on the drawn diagonal line, separate each rectangle and make two triangles. Now the key to keeping this and making it successful is to not disturb these pieces of fabric once you cut them apart. Leave them as is on your cutting board. You've now cut them apart uh, there. Place the four by four inch square off to the side for a minute and to grab your antenna scraps or the antenna one and a half by five inch strips. And as you can see, I've drawn a V shape on these. This V shape will help me align the, the background triangles onto the antenna correctly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just place these antenna strips in the middle of my background triangles, just like so. And you can see I've got them rather centered in the background triangle. So there's about an inch and a half here and an inch and a half there. Let's leave the left side as it is. We don't want to touch anything in this pile. In fact, we're just going to move it right off to the side over here for a moment and only concentrate on the right hand antenna. So I've got my two background triangles. I've got my antenna strip. I'm just gonna simply take the bottom triangle and I'm gonna place this long edge of the triangle along this drawn line that, I've, that I drew here with my water soluble pen. So that's gonna help me align the background triangle in the right direction to make this antenna. So I'm just gonna simply flip this over align it onto the line right there. You can see I've got a little piece of antenna peeking out there. And I'm gonna take this over to my machine and just sew down this long diagonal edge. So you can see now that I have sewn down the long diagonal edge there, and that's what it looks like from the other side. And so when I flip this triangle out, the background triangle outward, and I would actually take this over to my iron and press it a bit, you can see I've got my, my top drawn line exposed there of the V-shape on the antenna. So once I press this out, I wanna cut away this extra blue fabric that's right here uh, because I don't want a lot of bulk. So I'm just gonna cut that extra blue fabric off to, cre to create less bulk back there. That's just a sliver that comes off. And then I would take this over to my iron and press it outward like that. Now notice I, I haven't disturbed the angle here or anything. I need to keep these triangles in their proper proportion or orientation. I take the top background triangle now and I stick it right on the top line of the V shape I drew right there. So again, I go right sides together. I'm going to put it along the line I drew. And if you notice here quickly, that I've got the background triangles kind of overlapping each other down here. Um, and they're about an inch and a half beyond the antenna strip. And the same thing is at the top here. The, the, the background uh, triangle tips are about an inch and a half above the antenna strip. And that's correct. The diagrams are a little deceptive in the pattern. So this gives you a little more help to look at the proper proportion of how to get the antenna in the background triangles. I'm now going to take that over to my machine and I'm going to just sew along the, the uh, edge here of this top background triangle. Again, they're overlapping at the bottom there. All right, so that's now been sewn on the top triangle. If I fold this outward, and keep it in its proper proportion. Notice that it's wider and not taller. So the, 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 the antenna gro the unit grows out wider than it does taller. But notice that 
The antenna is also facing upwards to the right. And that's what it would look like once you've sewn both triangles on. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and, and trim away this excess antenna fabric back here so that I can reduce the fabric bulk when pressing and when the block is put together. I slice through those, they all go off. I leave a quarter inch seam allowance. And once I take that over to my iron and press it nicely, which I'm finger pressing here for the video, um, that's what it looks like. It's a little misshapen. That's okay. You can see there's lots of extra background fabric down here at the bottom. Again, just a little different than maybe the diagrams are showing there. And so the next step I'm going to do, and notice I haven't touched my left side yet. It's just, we'll get to that in just a moment. The next thing I'm going to do for this right side antenna is I'm actually going to um, chop off uh, haphazardly the top of it. Before you do that, just make sure that you've got it orientated on your cutting board like so, meaning that it should be wider, this is about six inches wide, than it is taller. It's about five inches tall. Yours might be a little different than that, but you should be wider than taller. If you have it orientated like this on your cutting board, that is incorrect, just so you know. So you want it to look like that on your cutting board. Once it's like that, you just go ahead, drop your ruler anywhere on here. The fun part about the color bugs is that all their antennas come out different and uh, it almost looks like they're having conversations or getting some signal from some other bug. So you just chop off the top there and then we take our four by four inch background uh, square that's left over and we're going to cut this in half diagonally. So we'll create two triangles. And one triangle will just simply sew onto the top half here of this um, right side antenna. And we're going to do that. So you just put right sides together. You don't have to worry about being a quarter inch uh, of the tip going beyond here or a quarter inch offset there. Just stick the triangle on and sew it on. Once the background triangle is sewn onto the top of your antenna unit, like so, you'll just simply take it over to the iron, again, press it outward like so, make it flat as possible. That's what it will look like, the unit, when it gets done. The next step, after you repeat this on the left side, so you're gonna make exactly the same thing that we did here on the right side to the left side, the next step to your antenna building is to simply square this down. So you'll want to take from the pattern, the pattern uh, shape insert or template shape sheet. And there'll be a little thing here called antenna square down window template. You can choose to either cut that shaded area out on your piece of paper or your pattern, or you can create a window template, which is simply three and a half by five and a quarter inches uh, wide. It's a little window and I'll show you what I have. So again, you can like cut out the window from your pattern template shape sheet, or you can create your own template by just taking a piece of paper and making it five and a quarter by three and a half inches tall, and then cutting that little window out. And this will help you to um, square down your antenna, the proper size. So I'm gonna take my window, I put it directly over my right antenna here. And you know, the pattern says leave at least a quarter inch, I like to leave sometimes a half inch, a quarter inch. I sneak this around from right to left or top to bottom. You can move the template to what you think looks good. You definitely want to make sure that you leave at least a quarter inch seam allowance at the top and at least a quarter inch seam allowance at the bottom of your antenna so that when you sew it into your block, you're not cutting off your antenna here. So I'm just gonna make some hash marks in the corner here. This will tell me what I need to square this down. It doesn't have to be super accurate. And again, I'm just gonna cut that now and square down my antenna here on the right side to a three and a half tall by five and a quarter rectangle. There's my first right antenna all done, ready to go. I just need to repeat it on the left-hand side, and then I'm gonna sew the two halves together.
And that's how you sew the two antennas together. So that's one unit that gets attached to the top of your color bug block. And when it's complete, it'll look something like that. And it's okay if they don't touch the head. That's what gives the color bug personality from bug to bug. Thanks so much and talk to you soon.